Hello everyone! Welcome to Freya's Oil Brush Set Introduction Video. You'll be very satisfied with these 99 brushes to use in Procreate. You won't be disappointed. They're gorgeous and realistic. Let's take a look at each set one by one and see what they can do. Let's start with the Freya Oil Canvas. The first set is the Freya Oil Canvas, which consists of 10 brushes with 10 different textures. It's going to look something like this. You can either paint on top of the painted picture or before you start painting. You just have to add a layer and choose a grey color. It can be light grey or dark grey. Choose what you like. Now, start painting. Then we'll see the gray canvas's texture. You should change the blend modes to linear burn as well. So the color will look fresh and not gloomy. But if you prefer a gloomy tone, you don't have to do that. From the way I see it, the canvas already looks realistic even without painting with this brush, but it looks even more realistic when we're using this brush. This second one's texture looks like brush marks. You'll notice the paint's clumps. Some brushes are for creating the canvas texture and some of them are for creating brush marks. Choose linear burn or even multiply if you like. I recommend you use this first one here. I put this one on top because I feel like it works best with my artwork. You'll have 10 different brushes to play with. There must be one that you like, so try using them and choose what's best for you. Let's move on to the next ones, Freya Oil Dry Brushes. This Freya Oil Dry Brush set is considered pretty important. It's not really dry as the name stated. From my experience of oil painting, the look is damper and wetter. The main feature of oil painting is that it doesn't dry quickly. We can still blend the colors whenever we want. The no texture brushes will be these first ones. You'll notice that when I paint on the canvas, the color pops immediately. But when I keep blending it into the previous color, they'll look well blended in no time. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm now applying pressure on my hand that I'm slowly blending the new color into the previous color. Do you notice that the colors blend without any effort from our side? Your hand won't get tired from this. These first three to four brushes, they're the basic brushes. This one's texture will make it look like the tip of your brush spreads out a little. The colors will blend naturally. If I apply pressure on my hand, the color becomes denser. But as soon as I release the pressure from my hand and continue painting, the new color will slowly blend with the previous color naturally. Next, let's search for an interesting one. The color looks really dense while using this brush. Do you realize that the brush seems to pull the color around it and leave some brush marks? Let's try mixing it with another color. See? It has the viscosity like the real oil paint. Now let's take a look at the dry brushes that have their own texture.
I use this brush number five pretty often. If we paint lightly on top of the other color, it'll pull the previous color along following the direction of the new color. This brush number 6 is similar to the previous one but it has a pointy tip. It works best when you need to paint something that has a freeform shape like natural landscapes. Or work on small areas. This brush number 7 has a round and a little broken tip. So when you paint with this brush, it'll look like you're using a broken tip brush. Which looks more realistic, more natural, because the broken tip won't make your work look very neat. Brush number 8 has a straight rectangular tip. It gives your work a different mood. Try to play and mess around with it. Since it's oil paint, when you paint one color on top of another, the colors won't be very dense. It'll look soft and light. When you want the color to look denser, apply more pressure on your hand while painting. It's very easy to blend the paint, right? This is the main feature of oil paint for both digital and non-digital. As I said, oil paint takes time to dry, so you can blend as much as you want and will make your work look very smooth. After that, there is another dry brush group, but they'll have clearer texture and give a raw look to your work. Even if it's a dry brush, the colors can still be well blended. It'll look something like this, just like the real oil painting. It gives beautiful texture, right? I'll show you slowly one more time. See, it's so beautiful. Even though all I did was just paint randomly on the canvas, this can already be an art piece. You can even use this as your screen wallpaper. It's so beautiful. I'm not applying too much pressure here. This way, the brush will pull the colors around it and drag them along. But whenever we apply pressure to our hand, the color will become denser. This number 12 is the other brush that I really like. It's another dry brush that gives an even drier look, but still has the feature of oil paint, which allows you to blend the colors easily. It's like when you paint oil on the canvas. It will dry, but when you paint another stroke of oil on top of it, they can still combine. I'll show you every brush in the set because this is an important set. This one is a little special. Number 13 brush. We won't just paint normally like this. Instead, we'll paint randomly like this. When you paint over the other colors, it will pull those colors along. It works best for creating backgrounds.
paint like your hand is shaking. You can use this brush to create abstract pieces. You can also use this as your computer's wallpaper. It will be beautiful. This last brush here gives a smooth look. I think it works best when I paint like this. I'm just drawing around with a brush. This is what happens when I apply some pressure. Apply some pressure and release as you paint. If you paint lightly, the color will blend with other colors. Okay, that's all for all 14 brushes in the Freya Oil Dry Set. Try and play with them. Find out what works best for you. For me, my favorite ones are number 13 and number 5. Actually, I like every one of them. Depends on the kind of work I'll be creating. Let's move on to the next brush set. Let's take a look at the next set, Freya Oil Wet. This is another important set and it's fun to use. As the name stated, these brushes are wet, so the look they give will be very wet. I'm painting without applying too much pressure. It'll drag other colors around along. You'll notice that you can see the other colors in strips very clearly, right? Then, if you apply some pressure to your hand, it'll look something like this. It's really fun to use. No matter how well you blend the colors, you can still see the brush strokes. It won't look well blended like the Freya Oil Dry Brushes. It'll blend with the other colors around. I think this set works best with impressionist style than realistic style. If you like painting realistic style, I recommend the Freya Oil Dry Brush Set. You have different kind of brush tips to choose from. See, even when you try to blend the color, the brush strokes are still visible. You'll notice that the colors came out in chunks. When you paint over the other color like this, it pulls all the color along. When you stroke your brush back, you'll see that it drags the colors back inside as well. This number 5 gives a drier look. You'll still be able to see the broken brush marks. It's fun to use this brush. Choose brush number 6 and try to draw lines. It pulls a lot of this orange color along. Do you see what kind of look these brushes give? When you turn off the canvas texture, you'll see the color clearer. It's all up to you. Do it the way you like. You can paint either with or without the canvas's texture. It'll just look more realistic with it. You can see the brush marks very clearly with this one. There are so many brush tips you can choose from. Let me show you how this one looks. As you can see, it also pulls the color around along with the brush stroke. It gives you very realistic brush strokes. It looks natural and beautiful. If you've done oil painting before, you'll feel that this is just the same.
you can see the chunks of the colors clearly. I also like this brush. The colors come out in very visible chunks. Do you see that? It's really pretty! All I did was draw some lines and it becomes a new art piece. It's so beautiful! Wow! There are so many more brushes you can play with. And the brushes from brush number 8 downwards will give you a paint clumping texture. I'll show you in a moment, then you'll see what I'm talking about. This one has a round tip. This is so pretty, it blends all the colors. I'm just painting around with the brush, and if we keep adding more colors, they'll blend beautifully together. It's very beautiful. The texture looks amazing. This one is also pretty. Wow! Incredible! You can create a lot of work from this. I think the brushes from brush number 8 downwards are really fun to play around with. They'll work perfectly with abstract style. You can use the Freya oil brushes for both styles. The brushes work for both realistic and impressionist or abstract styles. Whichever style you like, these brushes will work with any of them. Even if you like to mix both styles, you can also do that. Your painting styles may depend on your mood on that day, right? Next, from brush number 15 downwards are... Mm, I'm not sure if you've ever used a palette knife. It's used for painting and makes the paint look chunky. I also made these for you to play with. I'll show you how it looks. Let's choose number 15. Try to paint with it. Do you see that the color is in chunks? It also drags the colors around along with it. You'll notice that the color looks chunky. It's beautiful. If you paint on the same area over and over, you'll see the edge lines that show the dimensions and that there's more than one layer on top of each other. It's so gorgeous! There are four of this kind of brush that you can play with. This number 16 brush has a pointy tip. Let me show you. The strokes will look pointy. Let's take a look at the next one, number 17. It's also a palette knife. This one looks a little simple. The last one is a palette knife that has a little texture. Do you see the beginning and the end of the stroke? It has a bit of the canvas's texture. Yeah. 
Okay, this brush set is very fun to play with and there are so many ways to use them. As I said, it works best for someone who likes abstract or impressionist style. Or you can do both, it's all up to you. I believe everyone has their own way to create their work. Just play around with the brushes to find out. Let's move on to the next brush set. The next brush set is the Freya Oil Tip Set. This set is used for details. That's why the tips are pretty small. The reason I created this set separately is that some brushes aren't designed to be used in small areas. So when you minimize the size of the brush, the textures and the effects of the brush will disappear. That's why I created this set so you'll have small brushes for detailing without losing the textures. Even though these brushes are all small, they still have the feature and the mood of oil paint. It's still viscous, condensed, and it doesn't dry quickly. When you mix the colors, they'll blend. Like this. You have a lot of brush tips to choose from. This one's tip is a little broken and has the brush strokes texture. They all look similar, but each has its own unique feature. Some are light, some are dark, some are easier to blend. There are seven brushes in this set. This one is a little light and it blends easily with the other color. As soon as your stroke touches a different color, it becomes light. It works well with detailing that doesn't require color that is too dense. We can increase the color's density by painting over the same area. This is another light one. It gives a soft and smooth look. When you do detail with it, the color won't be all that dense, but you can build it up. And as usual, easy to blend. Brushes for oil painting must allow you to blend as much as you need, easy to blend and smooth. These are the main features of oil paint. Many of you might never try the actual oil painting because it looks too difficult. A lot of equipment is needed, it also looks complicated and messy. You can try that on your iPad instead. I'm telling you, this brush set is no different from the actual one. It's like you're painting with real clumping oil paint. This one gives you a steady line. You can do calligraphy with this brush. It's cute. Do you realize that this brush has different effects than normal brushes? Gorgeous! The last one has a pointy tip and is a little faded. Just like the others, it works well with detailing and you can slowly build up the color's density. If you like an instant clear color in one stroke without building it up, Freya Oil Tip 1 is perfect for you. The color will be dense from the first stroke and then you can blend it out later like this. Freya Oil Tip 2 also gives dense color but with a little more texture. Choose whichever one you like or you can keep switching from one to another according to your work. Let's move on to the next set, which is the Freya Oil Old Brush Set. Let's go! Let's take a look at the Old Brush Set. What is an Old Brush Set? This set is inspired by a brush set I used when I was in college. It was a very old brush set that I used very often. All the brushes were disheveled. But they were very good if you used them for painting a large area or a background. 
That's why I decided to create this set. As I said, this set is for painting a large area or a background. It's like you have a big brush, dip it in some oil, then dip it in some paint and start painting on the canvas. This is how it looks. What do you think? It's really good for background painting. It keeps pulling the color on the canvas along. You can use this brush with landscape painting as well if you like. It's quite soft. It looks like you're painting water or a river if you paint this way. There are a lot of brushes in this set. This one is a little blurry. I like to use this brush for portrait painting. It gives a blurry soft look for human skin, but still shows some brush strokes. I'm not sure if you can see it through the camera, but there are some brush strokes visible. If you look at it from afar, it looks really soft though. This number three is the one that I like to use for blending. I paint it in a circular motion and it'll look dreamy. I had a brush with the tip so broken, it turned into a round shape. <laughs> so I dipped it into paint and painted it in a circular motion. It looked just like this one. Soft and dreamy look. If you apply pressure to your hand, the color will become denser. The when you blend it out, it'll look dreamy. Let's try and close the canvas texture. It looks blurry and dreamy like you're using an airbrush, but it doesn't look all that similar. You can still see the brush marks a little. We also have brushes number 4 and number 5, which are perfect for painting the sky. I'll show you! Paint in a circular motion like this, then slowly release the pressure from your hand. Emphasize again. It looks like a cloud, right? You can use this brush to paint far away clouds. Keep blending it. It's easy to blend too. Number five is a little denser. This set is created for painting backgrounds or areas where you want to have a dreamy look. Number 6 might be a little stiff. You can use it for painting a background that shows the brush's character. It gives you a feeling of acrylic painting a bit. It turns out beautiful, especially when you paint curves. It's gorgeous. This one also has a broken tip. Paint backgrounds with these brushes. You have many brushes to choose from this set. This one looks a little blurry, suitable for painting backgrounds as well. Dreamy. You can also use this set along with the Freya Oil Wet Brush Set.
very beautiful for those who like streaky lines like these. See? It does the gradation by itself. I think it's stunning and it looks really smooth. Okay, so that's the Freya Oil Old Brush Set. They're big brushes used for big areas and background painting that needs a dreamy look. For the last few brushes, you can use them for both background painting and abstract style painting. Let's move on to the next set! The next set is the Freya Oil Blender Brush Set. This set is not for coloring. Instead, it's for blending. Let's try the first one, Freya Oil Blender 1. You'll see from this color here that as soon as I blend it, the texture becomes clear. The two colors blend. These two are very different colors, but they blend into each other well with this brush. The result is not the same as when you use the smudge tool though. The smudge tool gives you a different feeling. It's like you're rubbing the colors. But if you use this Freya Oil Blender 1, you'll see more texture. You can also just tap it. The next brush is Oil Blender 2. It's a little dreamy but won't blend as much as the first one. You can still see some blurry brush marks. You can blend either like this or using a circular motion. The next one, number 3, gives a very dreamy look. Do you see how dreamy it looks? It's very beautiful. You can use this brush to blend the skin when you do a portrait painting. Sometimes when the color doesn't look smooth, just use this number 3 brush to blend in a circular motion and the skin will turn out very soft. See? It's well blended! This one is before we blend the colors, this one is after we blended the colors. Something like this. The next one is number 4. Let's see how it looks. This one is also dreamy, but it's a little stiffer. It blends in circles and doesn't look as smooth as the previous ones. Now number 5. Let's see how it works. This number 5 blends like when you use a palette knife. The purpose of this brush is not to blend the colors. But it changes the look of your painting from just normal color to look like the color has been rubbed hardly until the colors are messily blended. This is how it looks! It's like you're smearing with a palette knife. The next one is number 6. The tip of this brush is straight. It also gives a blurry look when you blend, just with a straight tip. The edge looks like this. It creates pretty sharp edges. You can use this brush to blend in any direction you want. It's easier to control compared to other brushes. You can use this brush to change the direction of the colors. This number 7 will be with some texture. It'll still blend the colors but will leave its texture. You can stroke it a little long. 
You can do a long brush stroke and the color is quite clear. The last brush in this set is for wet blending. The colors will be in chunks and the brush drags the colors around along the direction you are painting. We can change the status of a simple, solid, dry color into a wet look like this. Just like when we played with the Freya Oil wet brushes, it's abstract. There are a total of 8 brushes in this set. Try them! Each brush has its own occasion to use. Like brush number 4 and number 5 will blend the colors into each other. The last few ones are more like special effects when you paint to make your painting look more interesting. Play with them as much as you like! Let's move on to the next set. The next set is almost the last set, which is Freya Paint Stamp. These are stamp brushes. If you've purchased my brushes before, you'll know I'll include some stamps for you. The stamps are really easy to use. Just choose one and tap on the canvas to stamp. You'll get a beautiful texture in just one stamp. If there's any kind of texture or shape that a brush can't create, I'll put them in stamps to add flavors to your work. You can use them as your background or use them in your graphic works. Just stamp it on the canvas and you have beautiful oil paint. See? You can't create these with brushes, it has to be stamps. This one has a lot of shades. This is the darkest one. Let's make a stamp in dark color. Now it's clear. Very beautiful. That's it. That's already beautiful. If you need some minimal style pictures for your graphic works, this one is a good choice. This color is really pretty. Do you see the shade differences in the texture? You can also click on Alpha Lock. Choose Freya Oil Wet 12, choose different colors and paint on top of the stamp. Just another way to use it. Add some flavors to your work. This one is also beautiful. It's really gorgeous and looks realistic too when you use it with the canvas's texture that we put on top. Let's look for more beautiful stamps. We have something like this as well. It looks like brush marks. This one is a bit bigger. There are many stamps. This one looks like brush strokes. We also have the one that looks like we're using a palette knife. Do you see the clump? This is what happens when you use a palette knife. This one is also a palette knife stamp. Very pretty. Do you see that? When you're using the stamp with the canvas's texture, it looks so realistic. You can play with them. There are so many stamps to play with. Just tap it. There are a total of 27 stamps. Please use them as you like. Let's move on to the last brush set and see what they can do. The last set is Freya Oil Top Coat. 
If you've done oil painting before, you'll know that when the oil paint is dried or even when it's wet, it still has a shiny look when the light hits the painting. I want you to have that experience and try to play with it. That's why I created this brush set. Now we have the first layer, which is the canvases layer that we used earlier. When you use top coats, you have to add a new layer and rename it so you won't get confused. Rename it Top Coat. Then choose a white color and choose any top coat brush. Then slowly paint it on the canvas. I'll just paint on some parts of the canvas because if I paint this top coat all over, it'll disturb the look of the work. That's about it! It'll look like the light is hitting our work. You can reduce the opacity. It'll make the work look more realistic. It depends. Some areas can be clear and sharp, but some areas can be soft and smooth. I just paint the top coat on some areas. For example, I want the light to come from the top right corner, so I'll focus on this area. Also a little here on the diagonal part. Don't just paint all over the work like this because it makes our hard work look messy. Just a little, don't overdo it. The work looks like it's on a real canvas when the light hits. It has small, white glitter shining. Feel free to try them. There are six brushes in this set. Some are light, some are dense, some have more glitter. Now that we've talked about all the brush sets, for those who already made a purchase, we'll see each other again at the two painting exercises that I prepared for you. For those who are still hesitating, keep re-watching this video until you want to purchase my brushes. I can guarantee that these brushes are worth your money and they look realistic as well. That's all for this video, thanks everyone so much for watching till the end. Goodbye!